Hey guys, my name is Ned Zobuck. I'm going to be a realtor here, uh, down here in Southwest Florida, hopefully. I am over at the house on Honeysuckle, uh, and I wanted to get you guys some videos to take a look. Uh, I tried FaceTiming you, but unfortunately the insulation in these newer homes is pretty thick, so cell phone signal is eh, spotty, to say the least. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you'll be fine, though. Uh, you can still make all your calls and things like that. Uh, this is a brand new community. There's not many houses uh, finished in here yet. They are still developing a large portion of it. Uh, they're supposed to be, have a community fitness center, pools, and all kinds of cool stuff coming, uh, hopefully by the end of this year. Uh, so far, these are the only homes that are complete. Looks to be maybe, I would say maybe 20 of them, if that. Um, very nice neighborhood, great location. You are just a couple minutes away from the baseball stadium down the street uh, with the Atlanta Braves and spring training. Um, the Tampa Bay plays here. Uh, great location, close to the interstate, close to grocery shopping and everything like that. Um, so when it comes to location, it really doesn't get much better than this. You're about, I would say, 15 to 25 minutes from Boca Grande beaches, uh, depending on traffic and how long the line is to get there. But um, honestly, great location. Uh, as soon as we walk in, we have this nice entryway. To the right, you have a hallway, uh, which lead to two of the guest bedrooms. They do not have overhead lighting in these yet. Um, they kind of leave that open so you can do as you please and put in your own fixtures. Um, I personally would like my own fixtures in a brand new house to be there and complete already, but kind of lets you add your own little touch to it. Now, if I am going too fast, there is an option to slow the video down. Um, I think it's in the top right corner. It used to be at least they might have moved it to the um, other corner of this video. But you can slow down the video a little bit. I do tend to go a little bit fast sometimes and spin around and make everyone dizzy. So I do apologize for that. Um, this one's got a standard, standard closet in the guest bedroom on this one. You do have a lot of storage, I've noticed. Uh, here's one closet here. Oh, sorry. You get a little bit of storage. There's your air conditioner. But you have another closet here. Be your coat closet for the front doorway, if you will. Um, I think this closet was bigger, actually. No, smaller. Definitely smaller. And this is brand new. Uh, I don't think anybody's actually lived in it yet. Uh, it's, it was just, it's still in the builder's name uh, on county records for tax purposes and stuff like that. So the person that actually did purchase it didn't purchase it that, much, that long ago. And I'm just assuming something happened and they got a back out of it or something. Um, I'll see if I can find out some more information on that, but still, it's a it's a brand new home. Again, they do the plot lights up here. They did not put any light fixtures over the island, so you would have to do that yourself. Plenty of counter space. I love these granite countertops. Let's see, are these soft clothes? No. Okay, they are not soft clothes. Still nice cabinets though. Very nice. Vaulted ceiling, or high ceilings I should say. And then here is your lovely pantry. Very spacious. You have Frigidaire Samsung, or Frigidaire appliances all throughout the house. Yeah, all brand new. I want to go check out the guest suite before we go into the master. Uh, so this would be your favorite kid's room or your favorite guest's room, uh, as it does have a bathroom attached to it. Nice and convenient right off of the front of the home too, so they won't be bothering you. Um, all the guest bedrooms are at the front of the home, which is really cool actually, I like that a lot. Uh, washer and dryer is included. Nice two car garage, painted floor. Water heater. Those are your storm shutters for hurricanes. And this flooring runs throughout the whole home. Um, all the blinds will stay. And this is the master suite. And then here you have one closet to your right and one more to your left. The one on the right is definitely much bigger, probably twice the size actually, um, in comparison to the one on the right. This is probably where you're getting dizzy now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let me zoom this out just a little bit if I can. No, it won't let me, of course. But master bedroom's pretty big. I'll get some measurements for you. Um, I'm sure the list agent has a floor plan and, and everything like that. Um, but it's a very good size. The master bathroom is beautiful. Again, with the same granite countertops uh, following throughout the rest of the home. Your throne room, linen closet, and this beautiful walk-in shower. Um, I think it's huge. You could fit a whole party in here if you wanted to. Um, I would definitely do a bench or just something cool in here. A uh, massive shower. It's really nice. So yeah, it's, it's a, again, really nice home. There's not much to knock or say bad about it. It's brand new. Um, it is four bedrooms and three baths, which is very hard to find. Incredibly hard to find, um, especially in new construction homes. So I really wanted to get this video over to you guys because I know that this won't last that long. I'm surprised it's actually still on the market. I wouldn't be surprised if she's already negotiating some things. So if this does seem like something that you would like to move on, just let me know sooner rather than later. I can always put in inspection periods. Um, I always do a 10 day inspection period so you can fly down, take a look at the place if you want. Um, and if you don't like it by the time you get here, well, then we back out. No harm, no foul. Nice backyard, plenty of privacy. Um, you do have houses right next to you though. Whoop, some mulch in the way. Looks like they're about to be adding a couple pools onto these ones. It's always nice. And we got their pool. Yeah, great area, guys. When I say uh, location, 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 really doesn't get much better than this. You're so close to so many things. Um, and then again, the interstate is not far at all. So, do a lap around the outside. I believe the HOA in here right now is $270 a month or $250. Um, a lot of people always have concerns of it going up. However, in these communities, when they start off like this, they usually get cheaper as time goes. Uh, as the more people move into them, uh, they will actually lower the HOA because, well, they don't need as many people paying the same amount of money. So once they build up their, their kitty and their reserve funds and stuff like that, I can't expect it to go lower. And as well as with having more people in, it, in the community as well. Very nice home though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded over to YouTube and send this over to you guys here in a little bit. Uh, if you have any more questions, concerns, please let me know. This home is not far from my house, so I can always stop back by if uh, maybe I miss something or you want to get a better look at something. But for now, I'm going to do one more lap and I'll talk to you guys soon. I wish, th I wish they would have put that TV mount up there. It's one of my biggest pet peeves because nobody puts their TVs on the ground anymore. <laughs> but very lovely house. Um, really nothing bad to say about it. I wish they would have done soft closed counters and cabinets, but not too big of a deal. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I miss slamming a cabinet out of frustration. 